Hello? We're not injecting our subject into the process saying, try this. Here is your patented cure for AIDS. It's time to get off your butt. Here's your patented cure for AIDS. You talk about curing people, you talk about wanting to end HIV and AIDS, and yet you proliferate because you made it in the first place, then you've hid the, the cure for the last 10 years. You're a very evil government. Any more questions? We'll take one or two more, and then we'll be ready. Yes, sir. I'm Josh from Glassboro. Um, yes. I'm a student at Rowan University. Dr. Graves. Oh, I, yes. Hey, how are yes, you? I'm doing well. Good to see you. All right. Um, I know that uh, the United States Patent and Cure was awarded or granted to uh, Dr. Marvin Antelman Excellent. from Israel. Uh, does he currently own the rights to the cure? Well, you know, uh, you know, my response is I, I don't care. We have found a way to make it. We make it. We put it out there. We're going to continue to do so. If he wants to meet me in the legal courtroom, we're ready to go. Bring him on as well. Because Dr. Antelman, he's also a rabbi. Dr. Rabbi, Rabbi Doctor, whatever they call it, to having both titles. But he's also a, um, he went to school with Robert Gallo at Albert Einstein University. Albert Einstein Medical College, wherever that is here in New Jersey. Um, and it appears that he received this cure for AIDS as a payback to Dr. Gallo for something Dr. Gallo had stolen from him back in medical school. So our challenge to Dr. Antelman, Rabbi Dr. Antelman, is indeed if you are for the people, you should be proliferating your own cure. However, since you've allowed it to sit on the shelf, your lack of action speaks for itself. That he does not appear to be on the side of the people. That's why we're making HIV, I mean making the tetracell, silver for oxygen for, and trying to get it out here to challenge the system. Because they have laid stagnant on purpose, as we can prove, that their involvement in the development of HIV is integral. They are as liable as anything I know. We're proceeding now in the federal court in San Diego. Uh, the case number is 07 hyphen CV civil 0453. That's in the federal court. 07 CV civil 0453. Our whole purpose is to exhaust the U.S. judicial system, the U.S. legal system, to show the full perpetration of the development of HIV and AIDS in the International Criminal Court of Justice, which I believe where this case will be solved. Because I don't believe that we can get a fair hearing of the facts here by a government that indeed is transparent in each and every way. That we have to exhaust the system here to then go after that which we're going after. But with regards to Dr. Antelman, if he has a problem with us providing and making the doses, tell him to come on. Yes, thank you. And, and just let you know, uh, Dr. In, uh, Antelman is from uh, Antelman Technologies, and uh, according to this information, he is a member of the Supreme Rabbinic Court, aka the Sanhedrin. The oldest established court in the world. Uh -huh. So you can get his information online as well. I'm, I'm, Very interesting. Yeah, I'm not so sure what that means either. If, if you know what I mean. Because the further you go back, that's the further we're going back to the time period in the era when there were no black people. And you know, when, so when people put their minds together as to what they think they think they're doing, then they formulate these secret societies that have permeated the last 500 years of history. No, come on with the secret society. What are y'all doing in there? And now it's apparent what you're doing in there because you're making up some stuff to eliminate a large portion of the population of the world. The depopulation programs of the United States are hideous. Indeed, if we are overpopulated in any parts of the world, how dare a government secretly make something that smile in your face while, you, while they watch you die? If we are overpopulated and there are too many people, perhaps shouldn't we just pick stars? <laughs> We are currently suing the United States for these two right here, which we already have. However, they were in the archives, and when we inquired about them, these two progress reports became missing. This is the essence of the entire lawsuit, that here's progress report number 15 from the year 1978. It is missing in the archives. Here's progress report number, 70, uh, number 15, 14 from 1977. Uh, these are the end progress reports on the federal program. This one contains the budget of the program from 1962 to 1978. 
Here is the full outline of what they were doing and their end reports that have, are now missing out of the archives and we can show that they were there. Where are they now? Who removed them? We want these two progress reports replaced back into the archives because I'll tell you something. After 30 years of these progress reports ex existing, collecting dust in the archives of the United States and an inquiry is made into these documents and then they suddenly go missing. Under the World Catalog Database, write it down, World Catalog Database, you can put in Special Virus Cancer Program and you will find that there are eight of these in the public domain. Eight of the 15 of the progress reports of HIV AIDS are in the public domain under the World Catalog Database. Put in Special Virus Cancer Program. This patented cure for AIDS is the U.S.'s patented cure for AIDS. We don't need to go through any kind of review process of anybody else's cure for AIDS, and I, and I recognize that there may be other remedies. However, when you have it as directly as we have it here, when you have that full patent and you've gone through it, to see that this is what they were working on for the specific purposes of curing AIDS. And the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has a long-standing history that they do not issue patents for claims that cannot be met. And in this regard, with the U.S. patent having sat on the shelf for the last 10 years, I believe it is time. And if there are other things, and there are, that assist people with HIV and AIDS, I believe that they should be incorporated as well. However, we should move with direct speed to begin to get the clinical trials of the tetracycline, particularly because it's so cheap and particularly because it's so effective. We have within our reach the ability to end HIV and AIDS. So, other questions again? Let's give Dr. Gray a shout out. I know, family, this, this is this. Don't, don't, don't go home and stick your head in the sand and act like you're here. For those of us that heard, we are now responsible for what we hear, and that's what truth does. It, it forces you to the front. For Jesus said, "You should know the truth, and it will be the truth that will set you free." Not just the truth, but acting on the truth that we know. So those of us that are here today, we thank Dr. Graham for coming all the way from San Diego. Again, he will be at Salem Baptist Church tonight at 7 p.m. in Long Branch.